I'm really having trouble telling which nodes are metal and which ones aren't on this map. Whoops. <laughs> Hello, this is Croat, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Ark Survival Evolved on Timmy Carbine's Season 3 Patreon server on Thieves Island. Uh, I just had a brilliant idea that I am going to make a new RG taming pen that I have never made before, and we are going to try it out. I think this would be a amazing idea on a regular server for a boat. Well, actually, no. On, a, on an official, you know, you got that whole boat problem with lead six killing everything. But it's a limited, a, a structure limited build. So I'm going to try to keep the, I mean, I don't really need to keep the number of structures to a minimum, but, you know, sometimes I think like that. And it may serve some other purpose in the future. Well, I'm going to gather some materials, uh, go out and find the spot, and I will bring you right back. Okay, we're back, and it's still early in the morning, but we are on this map. There's a number of places to find Argies. Right around this mountain in the middle here is a good one, and they kind of go over into the redwoods a bit. So, we are going to want to build up here. Nearby, anyway. So now it's just a matter of figuring out where that's going to be. Looks like we had a Alpha Carno down there. You know that little pillar over there would be wait, is that an RG? Thirty-five. I don't want to be bad. You know, this is actually... I mean, really, I think the best spot, or the place where I've seen the most Argies around here, is up here. Um, on the back side of this mountain. and see if there's a few. Thank you, lag. Great for screenshots. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, there's a bunch of Argy right there. But the mountain is also somewhat dangerous. Although, I don't know. It's also freezing up here, which I want to try to avoid. So, yeah, there's the ice cube right there. I would love to build a, a really good spot would be up on top of this mountain, but because of the ice cubing, we're going to pass. So, you know, this little point right here wouldn't be bad, except that I made all foundations instead of pillars. We'll leave 
at somebody else to try. Wow, darkness. My old friend. Jeez. Yeah, and this, uh... I had a gamma up. I was already on gamma four. <laughs> this little... Ledge right here wouldn't be terrible. I just have to wall off the, the back side so nothing gets over here. Hmm. Well, that little pillar is just about as close as here. And... I think that's where I'm going to put it. So let's head over here and see what it looks like. I think I'm going to need some pillars after all.
can't see a dang thing out here. As you can see, this is a regular dyno gate, not a Structures Plus. Structures Plus uh, gates tend to, well, I, I, could, I probably could have used a Structures Plus frame. Well, here, here's why I didn't. Uh, first of all, the gates, when you put them on, that are set to auto, open and close. And when you're luring something back to a cage, you don't want it to auto open or close. Uh, you just want it to be open when you get there and close when you close it. The other reason, uh, the Structures Plus gate frames will snap to the uh, foundations, but they always, I mean, it's really hard to get them to snap face in the direction you want. And like if this gate would have placed backwards, because I want the gates to swing in, not out. If it would have placed backwards, I think the only way, well, Structures Plus, it, it just, you can't hit E to flip. That's the big problem. And I just like using the vanilla ones for that. So. Now, normally what I would do is I would put a bunch of walls up or pillars or something to create a big box to trap the RG in. But I'm going to try this and see if it'll work. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will, but we're going to use gates. Here, I'm going to leave open. I wonder if I can build across to there. Although, actually, grab some of these foundations over here. Jesus. A little warning would be nice. Well, I guess that was the warning. That's the last foundation this way. Those aren't even snapping underneath.
let's see, these are skinny side. See, I'm hitting the E and it won't flip. The only way to get it would be to face the other direction. Which, the building really up high like this, especially when you're that gate on the end, it's not always an option. I thought these just I thought these were just flipping the other one. Okay, you gotta be behind. When you lag like me, you're very nervous about going near the edge. The last one I brought. Dang, I meant to have another one. Well, no, actually, wait. One, two. Mm. I do want that. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's where I wanted it. This is a alternative thing I'm gonna try usually because for me with doing this since I have an omnicular I can close the gate from a distance uh, what oh I guess they removed that functionality so uh, <laughs> So what I was saying was, wait a minute. I can't believe that. Um, what I was saying that was that, uh, wait, right click for more options. Okay, what I was going to say is that uh, since other people would use it and they wouldn't be able to use an omnicular, then you have to run back and close the gate, and I'm hoping that with this turn the RG will follow you around the corner and, you know, get stuck like right here while you're over there closing the gate instead of like the last time I tamed an RG and something like this. He flew back over here and bit me right when I closed. Which isn't a terrible thing but uh, it was also on a different cliff and it knocked me right to the edge so we don't want to do that okay let's see oh, I got one foundation I might as well get rid of Okay, so foundations. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then I need my wall. And actually, I might put walls on this side too. As a barrier 
start to help curve around. Okay, well, seven foundations at least. Ooh, a Therizino. I do want to get one of those eventually. starting to get used to the landmarks on the way back. This little thing right in front of me, my base should be right behind it. Oh, for those of you following the series, uh, yeah, I tamed a dodic yesterday, and I wish I would have recorded it because it was a total nightmare, but there were some other people in chat, and, I mean, in the voice chat, and it was just a big conversation the whole time while I was doing it, and, uh, it just didn't work out. But, I'll try to keep you around for all the future ones. Also, I personally was in a pretty bad mood myself, so... I was not a pleasure to be around. Wait, what did I say? Seven? Seven foundations? Uh-oh. I'm out of stone too. Gee. Yeah, I'm kind of tired right now. It's uh, 2 a.m. And I have to work uh, 14 hours tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. So, <laughs> uh, fun day. Okay, let's put that back in there. We got to get some more material. And stone first. Get try oh uh, yeah, yeah, I want to show you something about the Dodic. Uh, I don't know if it's just this map. I hope so, but uh, if you've ever used a Dodic before, you'll notice that this doesn't happen. He harvests berries, and I hope that functionality was not added in a recent patch. I'll have to read up on it and find out, but yeah. The one thing I liked about this guy is you never had to worry about him filling up with berries when you're trying to gather stone. But that may be no longer the case. I don't want to take my metal rocks. Fortunately, it kind of seems like he tries to grab... No, I guess he got berries and stone that time. So just scratch what I was trying to say. <laughs> I was trying to say that he tries to get stone first, but... Apparently that's not always the case. Yeah, like there. You got the berries first. So, I will just have to empty his inventory more often while I'm out getting stone.
Uh, he was a level 120, so... I mean, it's the highest level Dodic I've seen on this map so far. So we got kind of lucky there. But, as for things that went wrong, on the way over there... Okay, what just happened? We missed every... Oh, uh, that's not really a rock. Yeah, it is. On the way over there, I had... I was riding the Rex, because I thought, you know... The only place I've seen Dodix has been pretty dangerous, so I thought I'll just take the Super Rex over there and kill everything, and then tame a Dodix. And on the way over there, I got attacked by Ichthyornises, who stole all the raw meat off of my Rex, and <laughs> so then the Rex started eating my kibble that I brought for the Dodix. Uh, for, lucky for me, uh, I took more because I was planning on getting an Anki too, which I didn't. And, uh, so, yeah, the Rex started eating the kibble since he didn't have any meat. And I was like, how in the hell did an Ichthyornis take 2,000 meat off a freaking Rex? That just makes no sense. But hey, that's Ark. If, uh, <laughs> Just when you thought everything was going good, something grabs your shit and runs away with it. At least with the Pegos, if you kill them, you can get your stuff back. With the Ichthyornis, when they take your stuff, it just disappears. Which kind of... <laughs> I guess it's nice that it tells you what it stole, <laughs> but it's also kind of a F you, man. Look what you just lost, because there's no chance in hell you're ever going to get it back. Oh man, I was I was pretty irate. Oh, and also the thing's flying around my head, grabbing stuff, and my Rex is biting in the air and never hits it. So uh, the only good thing about that is on the way back after taming the Dodek, when I walked through that area, I saw an Ichthyornis walking on the ground, and I killed him. So I guess I had the last laugh. Okay, how much stone did we get, buddy? Oh, damn near 5,000, not bad. Now we just gotta take the beaver. Oh yeah, beaver, I thought you were over here. Okay, for getting trees, I think it's much easier down here because there's not so many berries around. Of course, I just got all these trees with my trike to get thatch. One thing there is down here, though, is ichthyornises. <laughs> so hopefully I don't run into any of those and go off the rails. Unfortunately, the beaver fills up really fast. Full enough. Yep. Yeah, I did want to see one of these. 
different trees over here. I think they give sap. I'm not sure how much a beaver will get. Might as well test it out while we got them down here. Nope, no sap. And now I'm running slow. Okay, now we're going. Seven foundation. And let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably gonna need more of those, but I'll add them later. Take the rest of these ceilings. <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Let's see if our bird can still carry us. It's gonna be a close one. Oh yeah, he's got it, no problem. Man, I don't know if that server saved lagging or... Uh... <laughs> it seems to vary by server. And... Seems to always happen on this one. Okay, there's my pillar. Can't see the structures yet, but I can see the pillar. And that's good when you're uh, luring an RG back to one of these. It's nice to be able to see where it is from a distance. That's the problem with taming boats, is you can be flying out over the ocean if you're parked next to an island with RGs and not be able to see where it is. <laughs> Kinda sucks. Might even be able to throw another row out there. Make this uh, back area a little bigger. Now, well, we need a pillar to put a wall out there. No, nice. It's like somebody needs a ride. Oh, shoot, I got 
guess I need. I could put a foundation there. Probably there too. Guess I'm gonna need to get some more foundation. All right, one, two foundations, three. Wait, right, that is a foundation. Good. Okay. All right, one, two, three. That will be a ceiling. Four, five foundations. All right. So, you know, since uh <laughs> since we are um on the ground, uh, and I'm not really worried about structures. I might put a rail around the outside of this just to uh, prevent myself rolling around. Okay, well, I gotta go give this guy a lift, and then I will be back once I bring some more foundation. If you look at horse, you got all this on. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, TikTok was their first song. Well, I hope this works. It should. The uh, IG thingy. Yeah. I have no idea whose cage I use. I use someone's cage. I know that much. Well, I use like three people's cage on the volcano. Oh, yeah. So I have no idea. I think I used everyone's because. I just used, you know, I'd pick up an RG. <laughs> I'd fly to whichever like taming cage came into like render first.
Yeah, as long as they're unlocked. Uh, St Stevie Lad. Um, do you know, is he Australian? Yeah. Uh, nah, he's a pump. Okay. Uh, he, uh, I had that. He did a video where he's trying to lure, uh, I think a UD Rannis down to my taming pen on the beach. Yeah, I seen him. And it got there yeah, and it was it. locked. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be locked. It's just whenever they... All those updates they were doing, it always resets them to lock. Yeah. Tell you what I hate about this map, whatever mod we have that has these two other flowers that I have no reason to have. Um, that weigh yeah, a lot. I was, I have no... Yeah, what the Vinca flowering plant? Yeah. Is that like a decorative thing or is it actually practical? I, I'm not. I I'm not really sure, but I'm oh, I'm almost betting that it's decorative, and it's really heavy and far too abundant. Yeah, you get like one or two off every fucking, and it stacks up real quick. And yeah, and the, and the uh, and the stacks mod doesn't reduce its weight. Yeah, no, that's I can understand why you. Would be you guys having any lag on the server? Every uh, every three minutes. Because I'm having trouble joining. Oh. Um. No. Not to that level. Yeah, I, I don't have any problem joining, but. My, uh, most of my problem is my own hardware. Ten minutes, but... It's a combination of my shitty hardware and having my settings turned up too high. Because I refuse to have shit textures. Up, oh, fourth time ready. Fourth time lucky, actually. Mine's big, mine, mine lags because I'm on the NBN. <laughs> At least you have it. We're not even scheduled to get it for the next eight eight months. That that must be like Google Google Fiber over here. I don't know. I heard that. I'd love to have fiber. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is it's something that like three towns in the U.S. have, and everybody wants it, but it's nowhere. I thought, like, Scrabble someone got it recently. Oh, so it, the uh, NBN is is shitty connection? It's... It is under our current it. government. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are they limiting it or, or whatever? It, it, it's a, it, it was a brilliant idea at concept that's been absolutely fucked over by red tape and more people too many people making decisions. But I assume they're making it free for poor people, right? No. No, no it's um... So it's a it's national like... infrastructure project, and originally it was going to be fibre to the premises for everybody, except if you lived out in rural areas, because, you know, you yeah. live out in fucking nowhere. Um, and then you'd get a uh, satellite, or something else. Which I is terrible. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, so it's a, a, a national broadband network, so the infrastructure's all there, and then the companies just rent space off it, right? And oh. then change of government, and then the the new government, which is a conservative government, decided that that's too expensive. We're going to save you money by not running fibre to the home. What we're going to do is we're going to run fibre to the nearest uh, junction, to the nearest... Um, the word is escaping me right now. No. What's the word, kitten? Node, thank you. The nearest node, which could be for some people out your front door, for other people it could be one and a half kilometers away. Oh, and, and the closer you are to it, the better. And the closer yeah. you are, the better. 
and for the rest of it, you're going to have a, what they call multi-mix technology. So some people might get fiber, others are you going to stick with your fucking copper cables. Some people will have coax because they've already got Foxtel or you know cable TV of some kind. Guess who already? Guess who's you know stuck on copper? Yeah. <laughs> So it's great between the nodes, but if you're stuck on copper, then it's no, because it only goes as fast as the slowest bottleneck. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like DSL. No, we have ADSL, mate. We're much better than DSL. Well, yeah. I, I've never had DSL, but I always heard that you could only get it if you were within like a mile and a half of the the main Well, I, I never thing. had a problem with the old ADSL too. Now, yeah, look, to, the, the, the good thing about DSL was that it was always the same speed or something. It was very consistent. No, my, my, my internet was always, it, was, it wasn't great. It was like 18 down. Whereas cable, cable varies like throughout the day. 18 down. And my, my internet at the moment, um, I'm dropping down to like, on speed test, it's like 200 and you know, 200 to 400 ping and getting like four or five down during peak when I'm on 50 down or something like that. I'm supposed to get like off peak, I get like 45. It's just fuck. Well, unless you get that, mate. <laughs> real world, my maximum real world is, um, is a one meg a second. That's max. No, I, I used to get on just a ADSL 2 with Telstra, I'd get 2. Now, according to Steam, uh, my max download is like 5.1 megabytes. Which, when, when it's all working, it's fucking fantastic. It's just not working for like half the day during when you know you want to actually use it. Uh, I'm surprised that your suburb has been lacked off for being so close to the city. I thought you would have been one of the first. No, we're not special here. But that's the thing, like, I'm in the, like, I'm in, in classes like Caboolture region, because I'm near, like, I'm at Beachmere, like, halfway between Caboolture and Bribey. And yeah, I don't know where Beach Mirror is. Yeah, we got like 2,000, 2,600 population or something. I don't, I don't understand why the fuck we're getting it when... Like, I would have generally thought they would have just gone from like the city and just rolled out with them. A friend of mine lives at Castledine when um, Labor was still in power and he got the full fibre to the home. He loves it. Cunt. <laughs> uh, fuck me. So much mismanaged shit. Why do we have fucking governments again? So we have free healthcare, that's why. Yeah, I. I... I, I wouldn't be prepared to give up my free health care. Like when, when I when I first started playing games with people and shit, and like around the world, and um, like I had a, like American friend, he's like, oh, I I can't, I'm sick. I'm like, we'll go to the doctor. He goes, oh, I can't. I'm not on my parents' insurance anymore. I've just, you know, I've turned 18, and I'm like. I don't understand. <laughs> like, why can't you just walk hey, the doctor? Hey, I have free health insurance. It's called not having insurance. So, I don't have to pay anything, and I just never get sick. Does that mean you die when you, if you do get sick? Yeah, but is death really all that bad? I mean, it's a, it's, no. it's a new experience I'm looking forward to someday. Then I don't have to worry about paying my bills. <laughs> I'll tell you a story, man. My dad went over to America about three or four years ago. 
to for a holiday in Canada. And he has a heart condition. So he's had a couple of heart attacks. And he bought insurance. He told them all the different things that he had. And three days before he was due to leave, he had a minor heart attack again. And so they took him to the hospital. He was in California at the time. And he spoke to the doctors and nurses and said, you know, I don't want you to do anything unless it's covered by my insurance. And they said, yeah, yeah, we've spoken to them. You're all covered. And so they did uh, some kind of, I don't know, they did some thing where they replaced something in his heart. He gets back to Australia and they decided to send him a bill because apparently he wasn't covered by his insurance. And hopefully he said, I'm in Australia, fuck you. Well, eventually he just, yeah. He, um, and they sent him a bill. It was like $1.2 million. Right, kid. kid. What? Yeah, $1.2 million. Anyway, so... He, he sent the bill to his insurance company and they said, oh, you're not covered for that because the type of heart attack you had uh, comes under a pre-existing condition. You know, you had a heart attack. And he said, but I told you about it. And you said you'd still cover me. And, you know, insurance companies being insurance companies. Yeah, just and, yep. and medically, it wasn't the same um, heart attack as he'd had in the past. It's actually a different, like it was a heart attack in a different part of the heart. Yeah. So that's what his the doctors were saying um, that it, this was something new, but um, the insurance company said, "Oh no no, we, we it's it's just the heart, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like you've had yeah, the a, heart. a problem in the past with your heart, even though this was a different problem, a different type of thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's we 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 just broadly, you know, call it the heart. Yeah, it's like above the waist is a pre-existing condition. Anyway, yeah. what the other thing that the doctors that in California didn't tell him was that the surgery that he had could have waited a week or two weeks. He didn't actually have to have oh. it right then and there. So he could have got home it, it, it was, and been it, covered. Yeah. Yeah. Look, so, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It was important. He needed to have the surgery, but he didn't have to have it right then and there. He could have waited the three days, got on the plane, got off the plane at Brisbane airport, driven 15 minutes to Brisbane hospital, walked into the emergency room and said, I've had this three days ago. Later that day would have been in surgery and the next, you know, spent the next few days in hospital and it would have cost him nothing. Oh, actually, Absolutely zero dollars. But here he is, yeah, he's back in Australia and he's got a bill for 1.2 million bucks. Yeah, it sounds like America. I, I, I Just used, remember I, that when you privatise things, it makes them cheaper. What? Well, that's the argument that they use on the right. Oh, that, okay. You know, government shouldn't get involved because when you privatise it, it makes okay. it cheaper. Okay. So, Just so, look at your postal okay, system so, and your medical system. It's cheaper, isn't it? Nodding your head. So, Not. Okay, I was worried that you didn't actually know that was bullshit. <laughs> no, I know it's bullshit. You don't privatise. It doesn't make things cheaper. Yeah. Well, it, it makes the care you get less expensive because somebody's well, pocketing well, the difference. Right. But they get, then the government just, like, remember, right back when they were selling off, like, C-Web and shit like that. That's our electricity provider. Yeah. Yeah, we, electricity provider, where, where I live, like they've provider. been privatizing everything, because it's all conservative run, and <laughs> the, uh... We got, we're going the same way, like, half, over half of our, uh... Prisons, uh, private. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Private prisons are, they're really big fans of that. And once you get private prisons, they want to make sure they're full. They also want to make sure you never get out, so. And like your, what is it, like three strike system or whatever it is. If uh, Law and Order hasn't proven me wrong. Probably should not have picked up that turtle. It's always a good idea to pick up a turtle. Oh, I didn't realize there was three of them nearby. 
<laughs> I thought they just... <laughs> well, at least they're slow. But you're probably on a track, aren't you? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, you'll kill them. Just... It'll yeah, take you, a while. you just gotta run away so they're all coming in a straight line. So they're not yeah, getting you from the side. Yeah, and then just, yeah, knock them back. It's just the time. Yeah, and yeah, you, you also want to get them so they're facing uphill. I say, what the, oh, so you you pick yeah? Are they all pissed off because you picked on one or because you fucking picked up an egg? Oh, uh, I saw one of them and I picked up the egg. I thought oh, I'll just do it. And then two others just came out of nowhere. Coming out. Yeah, I, I died to a level five pteranodon because I randomly picked up an egg to eat. <laughs> and now the annoying thing is, there's two other turtles that are about. 50 meters away and randomly walking in this direction, I'm worried that they're going to start joining the fight. <laughs> so I'll actually have five of them. Total, total apocalypse. Oh, it's, it's, I'm going to have, you know, Leonardo, fucking Donatello, Michelangelo. No Donatello? I don't know about Donatello, he's a bit of a dude. Yeah, who would take a quarter staff over a katana? <laughs> exactly. Two katanas, even. Right? And purple. I mean, seriously, that's he's sexually frustrated. I, I don't know about that, man. Pur purple is the color of royalty. You know why? <laughs> oh. Do, I wanna, do I wanna know why? Alright, so it's a, it's a, it's um, because back 2,000 years ago, or 3,000 years ago, uh, purple was the hardest colour to, um, to make. Oh, uh, there you go. I actually it's... think I did know that somewhere, but, uh, yeah, forgotten in the depths. It's some sea mollusk something or other that they get, oh, oh, that's right, it's, um, it's for ink from an octopus. Tell you what, you would be really good to have on fucking trivia night. I'm really having trouble telling which nodes are metal and which ones aren't on this map. Whoops. <laughs> it's level 75. Well, my uh, my cage kind of works, but I forgot one very important piece that blocks the, the RG from a door? getting through the end. No, I'm, I'm missing a very important pillar. You should probably put the pillar in then. Well, I just lured an RG into it, and I was like, wait, how come he's still attacking me? Because... <laughs> yeah. So, he's actually tra- I, I can probably stay on the- well, no, there's two- he can probably hit me over there. But, hopefully he finds his way out while I'm going home to get the pillar. Well, just don't take it off. All right, level 14. You are the bird. Please tell me it's not the bird. The bird. Don't. <laughs> you're, you're a masochist if you do. It was so low level. It took less than a minute to tame. <laughs> well, I suppose at least now you can fly to other pteranodons very slowly and carefully. Well, where I'm at at the moment, it's fairly tame, which is actually a good thing. But at the same time, um, 
I'd like to build somewhere else. It's not very pretty, so to speak. Well, uh, there, there is a fair few. There's a really nice, if you like uh, water vistas, there's a really nice, like, big flat long ledge in the redwoods overlooking, like, the water. It's pretty cool. Has metal and stuff too. Yeah, well, water's a problem where Croat and I are. Whereabouts are you, kitten? Where is he in relation to us, Crow? He's, uh, you know where the Redwoods are? Yeah, yeah. If you flew from your house to the Redwoods, he's on the other side of the Redwoods. Damn it. That pillar won't go there because there's no foundation under it. <laughs> so I get to fly back again. Fortunately, the RG is underneath the cage instead of over by the Alpha Carno. It's always good. That's a seriously complicated RG pen, mate. Well, I mean, most of it is just a box around the outside, but if you removed all the walls, I mean, it, if it wasn't on top of a cliff, if basically, if you removed all the four high walls and it was just the gates, it'd be a really simple one. Although, it does have a, a turn in it, which is a, a new feature I'm going to try. But... Okay. I, I think I'd better build my pen and show you my all-purpose pen. Is it made out of pillars? No. Well, that could be interesting. It's a six by two that you can use to tame flyers and non-flyers. As long as it fits into a um, a six by four, sorry. As long as it fits inside a, a dino gate, you can tame anything you like in it. Do I have enough stamina to fly up to that island, uh, floating in the sky? Uh, how much fortitude do you have? I have 20. It's probably going to be negative, like, 50 Celsius up there or something. I didn't think it was that bad when I was flying around in single player. Just saying, some of the islands you get up to and you're like, holy shit, I'm losing... 20 health per second. Yeah. Yeah, there was one that I actually thought about that might be cool to build on, but I was like, I don't want to do everything by hand because it'd be kind of a pain in the ass to get a flyer up there until you built like teleporters. Well, uh, hopefully the teleporters are fixed because it used to be like if you teleport certain dinos and stuff and so well, sometimes it just randomly crashed your game. What's what you or... get a quest on. The pillar is in Now I gotta find this RG. Now they're fighting a raptor of course. You know, this isn't too bad. I think I might build up here. There is nothing spawning on top here. Uh, this build speed is killing me. There's fuck all resources up here. Well, once you uh, once you get established and reach a certain point, you don't really need too much. Just yeah bit of obsidian to get started. No, explore note. From Helen. Thank you, Helen. Mm -hmm. I mean there's yeah the the rocks are um metal ones with you know the green moss on it. 
Ja. I suppose it would depend what you want ultimately wanted to build out of. As to what oh, you normally need. I, yeah, normally I build um, stone, wood, and thatch. So. I like the stone and then wood on top and then thatch. Yeah. I just like the textures. Yeah, I like stone for like the uh, flooring, and then like on my single player, I was made sort of like a uh, Queenslander style house. So like stone at the bottom, which was like the dino pen, up to the, and then it was like hardwood floors and metal bay windows. Well, I missed you. Out to the out Okay, to the I have the RG trapped. Oh, 385 race. Yeah, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, you're looking for... Eaten by. What's you're, the is, it, is for, it 500? You're looking for 485. So 500 is the cap? As far as I know. I, I've seen a 485. That's the highest one yeah. I've seen so far. Here's the problem. I'm running out of stamina. Yeah, the 385 yeah, yeah you don't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, he'll likely one or two shot you. Yeah. Uh, luckily, he's eating a turtle at the moment, so. Have you got, have either of you seen any snails on this map yet? I, I haven't. No. I've seen dung beetles on the beach. Yeah, I'm more worried about getting cement, like a reliable source of cementing paste. Well, have you, when's the last time you made sweet veggie cakes? Uh, they, they, they changed no, the recipe. No, well, I was on the last server. They, they changed the recipe. What is it uh, now? I, I'm not sure, but I think it's a lot harder to get. It's already some, required, some, some you'll like, want to look fucking, into. Yeah, it's sap. already required fucking sap. And Although, one of each advanced badgy. Yeah, I think they added like black pearls or something. Oh, fuck me. Although, I, I'm... I'm why why are they try, they're <laughs> trying to force people into the ocean? They're like, oh, let's add a whole heap of things into the ocean to make it so there's only one viable fucking dino you can take. And then they fucking like, oh, yeah, well, let's make fucking everything require black pearls. Oh, here, here it is. It requires honey. Ah, uh, can't. Well, that's gonna be it for today, folks. Uh, you may notice the last two videos had the same uh, outro at the end. Uh, these videos are were not recorded to be episode sized. There's a lot of conversations between people, and also I would record for like five hours at a time and go back and try to cut out enough. So I'm recording the endings after the fact, and in some cases the beginnings as well. So to make it different and to explain that, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment because we'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.